everybody. So we're getting ready to start one of my very favorite projects that I do every year. And this is our cake drawing inspired by our inspiration artist, Wayne Tebow, that we just looked at a slideshow and learned a little bit about him. And so I'm going to go ahead and get started with a really, really simple cake. And you'll probably want to do a few practice sketches first before you decide on your final design. And so I'm gonna just start out with drawing an oval, or some of you might call this an ellipse. And so here's something that could happen. What if I do something like this? And I think, oh, this is really pretty crooked and I want it to be a little bit better. You know, I'm not looking for perfection. I want you to just try your best. But if I wanna make that a little bit more even on both sides, and I'm gonna decide which side I, I like the best. And I think I'm going to go with that one. And I'm going to just do my best to match up with that. So you can do a lot of editing of your drawing to get it the way you want it to look. So we'll just erase the part that was kind of too flat. And I'm just going to go with that. I could adjust it a little bit more, but that's good enough for me for right now. So now I'm going to come down straight with two parallel lines, straight down from the edge of my cake. Or it's going to be a cake. It was just a, an oval to start with. And now here's something I commonly see students doing. I wonder if any of you notice something that's wrong with that. I bet you do. And so what we're gonna do, this is really flat. It looks like I've pinched this off at the bottom, kind of like a French fry uh, container or something. I want this bottom line to be parallel to this curve. And so I'm just gonna erase that line. And then we're gonna try to make this curve the same way. And you can see I kind of go side to side. That's just the way I like to do it. You use whatever technique works for you. Basic cylinder, that can be a cake. All it needs is some decorations to really make it more interesting. And so if you want to go with a basic cylinder, that's okay. But I want to show you a few tricks. So let's say we want this cake to look like someone has taken a slice out. Here's an easy way to take out a little slice. I'm going to just put a little dot kind of right here and just make a line. You can, your slice can come from wherever you want. And we'll, I would, this one will work best from either side and then I'll show you how to take a nice wedge out of the center too. If a lot of people have had a piece of cake. So then I'm going to come down like that. That's just a little, a little angle cut out of the cake, a little slice. So now we're going to come down. We're going to do another parallel line to our edges. So straight line, straight line here. All right. So now we have some more racing to do another reason to draw nice and light. You know, I'm, I'm pressing a little bit harder than I normally would. So to, just to make sure you can see my lines. I know my lighting is not super great. And so I erased those parts of the curve because those are the edges of the cake and those are cut away. So here's a part that's a little bit tricky. We're looking at this angle. I'm going to start here and I'm going to try to make this line point the same direction. So we're kind of parallel to this line now. Now it looks like a wedge of cheese, doesn't it? And so to make it look more like a cake, a lot of cakes have multiple layers and there's frosting that holds those layers together. I'm just gonna put one layer of frosting. So this is two layers of cake with a layer of frosting in between. So we have our outside of our cake. This would be the inside of the cake and this is the frosting holding it together. So that's a little bit more complicated, a little more interesting. And you can add a plate around it, kind of like 
just another oval that overlaps a bit. And if you think about that first picture we looked from our slideshow, a lot of those cakes, and that's one of the most famous paintings, they were on these really tall stands. You could do something like that. You can see my lines are a bit crooked, but you get the idea. And so that's the basics. You could add any kind of decorations to that you want. We're gonna put this one aside. <coughs> And now we're gonna try another version. I'm gonna try to do this a little bit speedy just so the video isn't super long. So we're starting out the same way, an oval, and I'm gonna go with this one even if it's not exactly how I want it. And our two straight lines coming down my bottom curve. Okay. So this one, we're gonna take a nice wedge out of. A few people have had a piece of cake by now. So our chunk is bigger that's taken out. Little dot kind of in the middle. And now I'm making a wider angle. Let's see, right there. And now I've got to come down straight from these angles. So, I've got to erase these curves, don't I? Because that, because that part of the cake is gone. So we're erasing that. We're erasing this. And if your erasing lines still show a bit, no worries, we're gonna color these in. So we will get rid of all of those stray marks. So this is a little bit, a slightly bit trickier than what we just did. I'm gonna make another parallel line. This is sort of the interior corner of the cake. I'm gonna stop about right there. I'm gonna make a parallel line to this angle right here, that line, and I'm gonna make one to that. So I'm gonna go in, and then I'm gonna to come to this one. And you can see I have a bit more that I wanna erase. So this now has a big wedge. Let's pretend like this is a three layer cake. This is kind of a tall one. So again, I'm just making these little lines for the frosting that's holding it together. Doesn't have to be super straight. I know that when I bake cakes, sometimes they're a little lumpy, not quite perfect. And so it might actually look more realistic if it's not, your lines aren't super straight. So there you go. We have a cake with a nice wedge taken out. Again, if we want to put a plate, you can have a little stand if you want, if you want to do a little bit differently, or it could just be a plate without a stand. All right, so that is another basic idea. I'm going to show you one more. And for this one, I'm gonna turn my paper vertically. This is going to be a, what we would call a tiered cake and not tiers like our eyes. Let me write that word up here for you. And so that refers to the different tiers or different layers of the cake. And so what I'm gonna do here, and a lot of people think this looks like a wedding cake but I've seen other um, occasions use cakes like this. So I'm gonna start near the top and this is gonna be a pretty small oval. Coming down just like we did for our other cakes. Remember this line curves. And then kind of, this, is, this will remind you of drawing the plate underneath. Let's see. I got kind of crazy with that one. That, I know we're not going for perfect, but that, I got to fix that a little bit. All right, good enough. So now it looks like a top hat, kind of. And I'm going to come down from here. Now, some another mistake I commonly see is when you draw the line down from here. You want it to be really over at the edge of your oval. And then another curve.
And now let's make another layer. You can see each one's getting a little bit bigger. And that is pretty crooked, but you get the idea. Coming down. So you can see how that goes. If you want to get really, really fancy and make it even taller, you could do that. But if you want to go with any of these designs, think about how you can make it more creative. You can make some swags if you want. I don't know if any of you have ever watched those fancy cake decorating shows, but you can put anything on a cake. That could just be a little a little dab of frosting right there. You can put those little piped edges. Piped means it's in a little bag and you sort of squeeze the frosting out. Some of you might have tried that before. But you can get really creative. Here's a super duper easy little rose you can make if you want. A little swirl. U under it. Letter U. Maybe some leaves. You could put strawberries. You you can just get really creative. I didn't put a plate under this one, but we talked about how to do that. And so let's get creative. Let's practice a few designs. One more quick tip. I know this video is very long. I'm just going to show you with this. One thing I might do if I was really just starting off to get ideas. I went through a lot of paper right here. You could... Just divide your paper into sections and make some little miniature designs here. And that way you don't have to use so much paper for your practice. All right, let's get started drawing our cakes.